Hi. So maybe you're like me, a CPAP user of 16 years or more. Maybe you're just about to pick one up, or you've just had your CPAP for a short time. You've seen a SoClean commercial and you're wondering, hey, is that right for me? Well, with my experience, I'm hoping to give you what I've learned, and I'm hoping what I share will help you make that decision. I can assure you, after using one for many years, that keeping your CPAP is very clean. Now, when I first got mine 16 years ago, the technician said that I needed to clean out my uh, reservoir, mask, and tube with soapy water every night. And I can tell you that that lasted, I was diligent about it for a year, and then I just stopped using the machine. So the key is, and what you need to ask yourself, because your need to have a clean CPAP is the method you're choosing to clean it, will it get it clean? Are you willing to do it on a regular basis? Those are really key considerations. And do you feel comfortable with the method you're using? So I'm going to go through the basics of the unit. Um, they have good videos. I'm not going to spend a lot of time, so I'll just kind of walk through it. Um, what I use for a system and um, share some opinions with you. I'd like to say first of all of course that I have no medical background and um, I'm not paid for doing this. This is just my opinion on a product that it was very difficult. The reviews out there at the time were very polar so I'm hoping that this review will help you make a choice. Before I get into discussing the unit though I'd just like to make a plug for the company. Remember, I'm not being paid for this. When they shipped out my product, I um, had ordered the product and um, the personal tank adapters for the unit that I have, and I'll talk about what that is later. They shipped the order without the tank adapter. And I called them up, and um, they, were, of course, were very apologetic. They put one in the mail right away. In addition to that, they threw in a um, complimentary uh, ozone filter and uh, that was something they didn't have to do, so I was very appreciative of that. So from the get-go, I felt their customer service cared and went the extra mile. I haven't really needed them since then, but I thought I'd just mention that. Okay, so when you receive your unit, you'll have a few parts and pieces which I'll cover. And um, of course, the SoClean uh, 2 itself, and it's essentially just a big tank or chamber. And um, I'll just go through it kind of quickly. So at the front, you have your control panel. It's um, very basic. On the front of it, you have a button to set the time. You have another button that tells you um, for the duration of the cleaning cycle. They recommend seven minutes. That's what I've done the entire time, and it's worked great for me. And you have a manual start if you want, and that's quite frankly how I use it. I don't use the timer where maybe it starts every day at 11 because I don't actually use the machine every day and I'll cover about or talk about that more later. So you open the lid up okay and um, the chamber where you put your mask um, most people leave the headband attached I guess it doesn't hurt to have that disinfected too. You see, the hose can go in on either side you make the decision depending on the placement of the bed and then the side you're not using you have this little plug that just goes in the side that you're not using. On each side there is a switch. Both switch, switches must be depressed so that the machine will come on and this is very handy because again if you do have the timer set and you have the lid down and there's no mask in there you don't want the machine to come on because that will really fill your room with ozone. That's essentially the units, pretty simple. The other pieces is, of course, this is what uh, works to create the ozone. Of course, your plug. Uh, on the website, they also have a car adapter if you want. You have um, this piece right here, which is uh, kind of like surgical tubing. It's black. And you have this check valve right here that keeps um, the allows the air to move from the SoClean. But when you're running the CPAP, because this would be plugged into the CPAP, when you're running the CPAP, it will not escape and go into the machine. 
This is clear so that you can see if there's water in there. Right here, they, they say to replace it every six months um, or if there's water in the clear portion. I haven't replaced mine yet, but I don't use mine daily and I'll cover that a little bit more later. Okay, that's primarily the pieces. The other thing they'll give you is a little bottle of um, what they call neutralizing agent soap. It's essentially uh, something mild like Dawn and it doesn't have a fragrance in it. And if you read through the directions, it'll tell you that the purpose for that is the fragrance interacts with the ozone and it actually makes the ozone work harder and there's more of an ozone smell. So when I first got the machine, I was sensitive to it and I did use the neutralizing soap and now I just use um, a nice mild dish soap and it works just fine. You really do want to have a soap, in my opinion, that um, cuts oil because um, the skin, skin oil gets on your mask and um, it just, you know, you don't have the same seal. So that is the soap that I would recommend. All right, let's take a quick look at my CPAPs. And um, I use uh, primarily two. So I have the System 10 and the ResMed System 9. I'm not recommending uh, the brand, it's just what I happen to have. And I'm gonna, the reason I brought them is I wanted to show you the custom tank tops or adapters that you um, can purchase for the two different units and why I would recommend it. So this is another piece that comes with it. This is a universal adapter. If you don't use the custom tank adapters like what I'm going to show you, and this allows you to still use the SoClean system if you can't get a tank adapter for your unit. I have um, a unit that is no longer in production. The manufacturing plant burned and they never, they never rebuilt it. I still like the machine. It's one of the smaller traveling machines that are still out there. So I use the universal adapter for that. I'm not gonna really cover how to do that. That's pretty straightforward when you get the unit. So let me just show you here. So here's an idea. Here's an example of the S10, its tank. And what you do is when you get your tank adapter, they essentially replace the top of the tank. So this is what came from SoClean. And the difference is, is it has this nipple in it so that you can plug the SoClean machine in to the nipple so that the ozone can um, be pumped through your machine and cleaning system. Clean it all and out, inside and out, excuse me. I'll just show you here the S9. Same idea. There we go. Again, replace the lid. Now, because I only have one machine, so clean that is, but I have more than one CPAP, and this is the one that I use for traveling. When I travel, um, I still have this nipple on top of the tank. All right, so, but I have no so clean to plug this into. So what I did is I cut a piece of their surgical tubing and got a, a stainless steel screw and I screwed it into the end. So when I travel and I don't have the so clean machine to plug it into, I simply just put that on the nipple like that and that prevents the air from escaping. So another reason for me showing you these units is I'd like to show you and address some of the concerns that I read out there that really made it difficult for me to jump right in and buy the system at first. The first criticism I read was is that the so clean machine, I saw some people that said that it literally ate their machine up and then within less than a year their new machine was um, just eaten from the inside out. So I can tell you that again I've had this machine for at least two years and I have had no issues with um, my machines are still in good shape. Um, everything, when I look in and I see the inner uh, seals that you can replace, they're all in good shape and the machines are fine. But there is one thing that I wanted to show you that may be why some of those criticisms are out there. So if you look at my S9 and you look at the sealing gasket, that's quite a bit of discoloration there. Now, the gasket is still pliable and it seals very well, but it did discolor. And I think the reason for that is in this particular unit, 
the entire surface is, is gasket. So you have the gasket that actually makes the seal and this whole top is gasket. And so it's just exposed to the ozone, probably unnecessarily. Now, when you come over to the newer unit, the S10, let's take a look at that gasket really quick. And that gasket is just around the edge where the gasket meets the sides of the unit to make a nice seal. This gasket, and they've both been used for the same duration of time, this gasket is still in good shape. I mean, appearance-wise, they both are still pliable and seal, but this one still looks nice. And I suspect maybe that manufacturers are catching on to people using ozone cleaners, and they're probably making their gaskets so that a minimal amount is exposed to the ozone. Some of the other criticisms out there were the noise of the machine. And first of all, you really shouldn't be in the room when you're running this machine. And yes, it's loud. It sounds like a small inflator for inflating tires, but um, again, just don't be in the room. One for the noise, two for the ozone. Um, ozone is not something that your pets or you really should be exposed to when it's actually in the process. It is sealed well, but um, you still smell it. So. Just don't be in the room. The other thing too is there were um, some people that uh, complained that when you put on the mask, there's the after ozone. And yes, that is true. Um, after you use this unit, the mask is going to have ozone smelling. There's just no way around it. If you're sensitive to it, one of the things that I've done is um, I will turn my machine on for about 10 minutes and just let air blow through it. That substantially reduces the ozone if it bothers you. I've also noticed that when you first put a cartridge in and it's at its fullest, it's stronger. So after some use, the machine um, will kind of break in, I guess, as it were. And the ozone becomes, um, it's still effective, but it's just a little less noticeable. The other thing is, and I'm not recommending this, is that, um, but it's something that I do personally. If the machine eliminates 99.9 percent .9 of the germs and bacteria as um, so clean claims then and you're using distilled water and you should then it's probably not necessary to clean it every day and i don't i clean it about once a week and what that does is that does of course help minimize the ozone discomfort when you first do the cleaning and it also makes the um, filters and the check valve last a lot longer it's worked for me. I can say that um, compared to the other systems that I used and hated, like just washing everything with soap and water, or even the chemical um, mineral disinfectants, I, there was much greater lapses between um, using those for the machine. So um, I'm still having a much cleaner machine overall, even by just doing it weekly. And that's the key. What is going to work for you to keep your machine disinfected is the right system for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, comment, and if there's anything I didn't cover in the video, please put it in your comments and I'll be happy to address them. Thank you very much. I hope this helped.